Are you looking for cruise essentials that you can find at your local Dollar Tree? I've got you covered. I went to four different Dollar Trees in search for the best cruise and travel items. I will share with you some of the best things that I found. Some of them really shocked me, such a good value, as well as a few tips for you on how you can find the best items, some tricks, and a few little DIYs along the way. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now this past weekend, I did some research. Yes, I went on vacation to upstate New York and I visited several different Dollar Trees in search of the very best cruise essentials to share with you. Now I do have some items I'm gonna share. I have some tips and tricks, but I did also wanna mention the things that you probably want to avoid buying at the dollar store. Maybe they're just not a great value or they're cheaply made and well, they're just a few things to avoid. So I'm gonna share that with you too. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you enjoy this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And on this channel, we talk all about getting ready for your cruise, cruising, travel tips. And if this is the kind of thing that you do like, then please do consider subscribing to the channel as well. I'd love to have you here within the Life While Cruise community. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with a product that everybody needs and that's travel size bottles. So these are three for a dollar. You just can't get a better value than that. Great for hair conditioner, shampoo, any liquid products, that kind of thing. Now, something just to mention is I don't know how leak proof these are. So a little tip to avoid any leaking is just put a little bit of saran wrap at the very top and then close that up and that should work for you just fine. Now, another great cruise travel essential are these beauty jars. So they're actually three, four dollar. They're not jars at all. They're plastic, so really easy. Uh, you can use them for your moisturizer, that kind of thing. But I do also have a DIY for how to do something for your first aid items that I'll mention later on in this video. Now, an item I was so excited to find are these magnetic clips that you can put right onto your cabin walls. Now, something to note, maybe if you haven't cruised before, is that the majority of the time your cruise cabin walls are going to be metal. Not always, but most of the time. So it's a great place to store your items. If you're not sure exactly what I'm talking about, I'm gonna leave a video right at the end of this one all about cruise cabin hacks. So definitely watch that at the end of this one. But magnetic clips are just great. You can put your invitations to things. You can put your shore excursion tickets, all sorts of things and get them off the counters in your cabin. And these are more magnets I was able to find at the Dollar Tree. Another handy item is a mesh laundry bag. Now you might wanna pick up even a couple of mesh laundry bags for your cruise. Now I found this magnetic whiteboard planner. I love this, goes right on your wall again. And this one has all of the days of the week. So you can actually write down maybe when are the formal nights, maybe what are your excursions that you're going on. If your kids have special activities, you can write all of that down and the whole family can see that. Now, for those of you that like earplugs, maybe a little bit of peace and quiet, you sleep better with earplugs, just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Now, if you have an inside cabin, or even if you have a balcony cabin or ocean view cabin, but you do close those curtains and you like it very dark at night, you can place one of these at tea light candles. Of course, it is battery operated, it's LED. You can place that into your bathroom and then you can leave a little bit of light or you could even leave this on your night table if you like, and you could just kind of turn it on and off. Now I found some lip balm at the Dollar Tree. Now at your local Dollar Tree, you may be able to find some items that maybe have a brand name that you really like. This is not a brand name that I know, but it does show that it does have SPF. So I think that that's important. You might also find some sunscreen. I found some sunscreen that was in travel size uh, bottles, a little bit small for me because I spend a lot of time in the sun. But if that is something that you can use, definitely take a look at all of the travel size items that are at the Dollar Tree. They're really is a wide selection. Now, how cool is this? This is a dental repair kit or a cap repair kit. Now there's actually no dentist on a cruise ship. So this could be something that you hope you don't use. And I really never would have thought I would have found this at a dollar store. However, it is available and it might be something you wanna put in your first aid kit. Now, something that I always suggest doing is bringing a first aid kit on a cruise. I will have another video shortly on my channel about that. So make sure you are subscribed with your notifications on if you do want to check that out. However, what you can do is you can fill your first aid kit with different items that you can find at your Dollar Tree. So this one has 15 different items. So alcohol swabs and 13 um, different kinds of band-aids in different shapes. So this is very good. Now as well, they have travel size Advil, antibiotic ointment, 
all sorts of things. So if these are brands that you like, then consider buying them at the Dollar Tree. Now, when we travel cruising or any type of travel, we always need travel size Kleenex packages, such a good value at the Dollar Tree. Now, ladies, girls, the selection of hair products is amazing. So whether you need hair elastics, these are the goodie brand, 15 of them for a dollar, a scrunchies, hair clips, headbands, make sure to scour that Dollar Tree for the best items. I also found the little manicure kit, which includes a little case, a file, a nail clipper, a scissor, and a tweezer, all for a dollar. Now, I also picked up a pencil case because I think that these pencil cases are just a great size to store many different things. And you can use a separate pencil case, well, for different items. So you can use one for your passports. You can make this a passport holder, even put your proof of vaccine and other things. Uh, you can use one for an electronics case and you can choose different colors if you like. And you can use one to keep all of your first aid items. So remember those little beauty jars that I showed you earlier? You can use those little beauty jars um, and you can use Ziploc bags to place other things, but the beauty jars are really a very good size to put your different pills. So you can put your Advil in one and your Tums in another. Now another handy item that a lot of people wouldn't think about, but really is very convenient, especially if you're cruising with maybe a couple of kids, but you can consider getting one of these foldable storage boxes. Just pack it straight like this into the bottom of your luggage. And then when you get to your cruise in your cabin, open it up and use this to put your kids' uh, shoes and flip-flops or even your shoes, your running shoes, really, really handy and a bit of a space saver, especially when you might be four or more people in the cabin. Now I have some tips and tricks to share with you in just a minute, but let me show you one more item that I did get and these are thank you cards. Now in my videos about cruise essentials, I often suggest some thank you cards for crew members. And I really do think that's a nice way of saying thank you, writing a little note, maybe putting your tips in there. Um, but if you don't wanna buy the ones that say crew thank you card, the ones from Amazon, you could just pick up a package of six at the Dollar Tree, a nice thank you card for the crew. Okay, I'm glad you're still with me because I have a few tips and tricks to share with you, some things I learned from my little excursions to the Dollar Tree. So I had a list in mind of things that I wanted to buy based on the research that I did. And there were some items that I wasn't able to find. And the reason for that was that the Dollar Trees do tend to be seasonal. And I guess it probably depends where you live. Sometimes you may even need to go to several Dollar Trees to find all of the items on your list. So what I suggest is that, especially if you have a cruise planned for several months from now, is pick up the items as you find them at your Dollar Tree. Now a really good time of year to buy items from the Dollar Tree for vacations, especially cruises, well really is sort of as we lead into the summer vacation because cruise items are often very similar to your beach vacation items. And the Dollar Tree just seems to have a lot of those products sort of in the spring and the summer months. So stock up on them then. Now what I do suggest you do is maybe get like a basket or a bucket or something like that, a bin I guess, um, that you do keep maybe in a spare room in the house. And as you find those items, place them in there. Now some things that I wanted to buy but I didn't find are shower caps, a small sewing kit. So I think that that is really handy. Now what I didn't pick up but you could definitely pick up is a small toothpaste and toothbrush set. They come with a little cover for the toothbrush. So also really, really handy, especially if you are cruising with kids, get a new one for everybody in the family. Now I was looking for a poncho because I know that these are just so inexpensive at the Dollar Tree, but I just wasn't able to find any at this time of year. But I'm really pretty sure if I would have gone at the beginning of the summer, I would have found this item. And refillable water bottles, that would have been a good time to buy this as well. Now if you're cruising with kids, pick up some sand toys and bring them along to the beach. And remember those mesh laundry bags that we looked at earlier? Well, consider just placing those sand toys in the mesh laundry bag. It's gonna be really handy, so you're not gonna have the sand all over everything. Uh, maybe as you bring them back to the ship, you'll be able to have them shaken out by the time you get there. And the Dollar Tree is also a really good place to pick up some activity books, some coloring books, some crossword puzzle books, some Sudoku books. So those are all things that you should get especially if you're flying or doing a road trip, pick those up as well. Now I did see some things or I have some things in mind that I think you should probably avoid buying at the Dollar Tree. So one of those is a power strip. And I know this is often suggested, but power strips for cruises, well, you can't bring any that are not cruise approved or basically any that are surge protected. And the ones that I saw at the Dollar Tree were all surge protected. So I wouldn't bring those on a cruise. 
it will likely get confiscated. I also would avoid any of the electronic items, the chargers, um, the earphones. Just in my experience, those items just haven't worked reliably. If you've had a different experience and if you find they're better than they used to be, please let me know in the comments below. I also would avoid buying any of the room mist um, freshener sprays and basically because it's just not a good dupe for the original poopery. The original poopery is made well really that you spray it in the toilet before you go. It really does work. It really is a cruise essential so make sure you bring this. I will leave this linked as well as other cruise essentials from Amazon in the description below in case you are interested. And I would also avoid buying any of the magnet hooks that you might find at the dollar store. The reason is you really need heavy duty hooks to be able to hold your backpack and other heavy items to bring on a cruise. And again, I will leave that linked in the description below. Now, I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I'd love to hear from you. What are the items that you like to bring on a cruise or even for travel from the Dollar Tree? Please leave your suggestions down in the comments below. Now, I'm gonna leave a video right after this one all about how to organize your cruise cabin, how to get some extra storage space in there that I think you're really going to enjoy. Now, I'd love to have you here within the Life While Cruise community, so please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.